number one came here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts. I uh, mentioned in a video that I posted yesterday that I wanted to try to use the uh, Cricut markers on the chalkboard font. And I was so I pulled out my markers this morning and I thought I'd go ahead and do this not as a tutorial but just as an experiment. Now I don't know if Cricut makes the markers in white, so that would have been my preference, but I actually don't have a white one. I have these colored markers and then I have the black one and a brown one. So I'm gonna use white paper and a black marker. Now if nobody if if, if you're one of those persons that haven't used the Cricut markers yet, I'm just gonna show you real quick. You just take your blade assembly out of the Cricut. Easier said than done. And then you take the marker lid off and um, you should, let me just move this mat a second, have something so you can see, maybe you can't, it's too far, uh, where I did not put something underneath there. And blah, 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 yep, all over the place. So. You need to put something down there, especially not the paper that you're actually going to be working on because you could get marker pen all over it. So that's what you do. Now, depending on how thick you want your print, you would, if you want it, you know, uh, really, really thick, you would come over to your adjustments here. And to me so far, what I've experienced is the speed doesn't matter, but the pressure does. So I'm going to bring the pressure way down to the minimum. This way the marker pen isn't going to smash up against the paper and it'll be a thinner print. And I'm going to try and get this in without bumping the camera too much. And let's have some fun here, right? Let's load the mat and try it. Just I'm just going to go on the first page and just going to go through each one and see what it looks like. All right, so let's start with this one here. And I'm just gonna push the number one and make sure I have everything on there correctly. Good. Okay, now let's go through all of these and then I'll um, take the mat out. Okay, then shadow is the exclamation. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that one. You guys don't need to see that or you can play with that yourselves. This is the bonus one, so I'm going to print out that one. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to see what the difference is by pushing the shift bonus. So I'm just going to do shift, leave it on the bonus, and do repeat last. One more experiment on this one. What I'm trying to do is get more of a solid one. So I'm going to put the pressure on high and just repeat last. You can hear the markers can push so hard up against it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna zoom in a minute so you guys can see so far what I have. So that is closer to it being like the photo in the manual. So if you want to do the shadow, I would say you want to go ahead and put it on your high pressure. My camera, for some reason, is not staying on the tripod. So you're all crooked, see? Oh, they're straightened out. All right, we'll just have to be happy with that. All right, so we're going to do load last because I want to start back to here. And let's, these right here, I think you guys could probably play with yourselves. I'm going to go for this one. That's the extended. And let's drop that pressure down. Oh, I don't know, maybe medium. Okay, let's just do medium and we'll see what how that turns out. Extended. Not extend, shadow, extended, and I'm just going to do the number one. I have no idea what that was. Okay, let's bring that down a little bit. 
looks like, oh, maybe the shift was on. Extended number one. Try that again. Aha. All right, it's important for me to pull this out and zoom in so you guys can see it. Cool, I love it, look at that. It's got the shadow behind it and that's on medium, which I think is perfect. All right, I'm gonna zoom back out, hang on. Set that back up again. All right, um, I really wanted to see how that would look. You know what, let's bring it back up to, um, me let's do, do it to minimum. Okay, I'm gonna uh, load last. Because I want it side by side. I want it to want to see what it looks like. And uh, repeat last. So I'm doing it on extended medium pressure. Let's see if it's less of a shadow. Well, either one is fine. Okay, load last. Oops. There we go. Okay, I'll cross my fingers here a second. See if I can take this off without getting it. Nope, and I won't take a chance. Put my little miniature craft mat under there. Take the marker out. Um, where did my, oh, rolled way over here. And I'm going to, this is a Walmart paper, it's non-textured. Let's leave it on five. Are you probably thinking, what is she doing now? Some of you might be saying, oh, I know what she's doing. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and put my pressure back up and put that on high and my speed is high and I'm going to say cut. Oh, repeat. Cut. It's off a little bit because when I did load mat, I loaded the mat incorrectly. But what I was trying to do, which I have done before, is if you load mat back onto the um, image, you get the image with the um, the lines around it. So I did it incorrectly, but that kind of gives you an idea. Oops, sorry about the camera. So I like it. I'm going to go ahead and I can use this on my scrapbook layouts now because I really like this font or and cards too. Cards would work great. All right. I think I did everything I wanted to do. Uh, thanks all so much for watching. Please leave a comment if you have suggestions on how you've done it or, um, you know, see that I did something incorrectly too, because I could always use corrections myself. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.